Nine years ago, Madonna brought the Oscar house down, singing the award-winning song from her film, Dick Tracy. Well, now the material girl is at it again with her Drowned World Tour. After an eight-year hiatus from touring, Madonna is back. Tonight, she kicks off a five-day sold-out stint at Madison Square Garden, the latest stop on a juggernaut tour that Rolling Stone music editor Joe Levy says should pay nicely. She'll take home plenty. She could take home from uh, the U.S. leg of the tour upwards of $50 million. Scalpers are getting up to $5,000 a ticket, but those hoping to hear Madonna's early hits may be in for a disappointment. She performs very few. When you're making records as good as Madonna's last two records, you should be playing those songs on tour. Madonna looked toned and relaxed outside her New York apartment Monday, but her two kids are the busy ones. Both visited Central Park. The new issue of Us Weekly on Newsstands Friday caught 11-month-old Rocco proudly showing off his newfound ability to walk for dad Guy Ritchie, while four-year-old Lourdes put the pedal to the metal against her dad, Carlos Leon. As for their mom, the show must go on, at least for a while longer. I wouldn't be surprised if this was her last tour of this magnitude. And I think we can expect that she won't still be doing this in Vegas uh, in her 60s and 70s. Madonna will be on tour through September 14th when she will finish things up in Los Angeles.